Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning, or good evening, or good afternoon, whatever, whenever you're watching this video, I guess. Well, just our good day. There you go. We got all bases covered now. <laughs> well, <coughs> there's the new ignition switch. It showed up. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Darn Taiwan parts. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, looks like the weatherman was wrong again today. He said, do all your yard work and everything outside Saturday because it's supposed to be raining Saturday. Well, today's Saturday. I didn't say that right. It's supposed to be raining Sunday and Monday. Saturday's dry. Well... Does this look dry to you? <laughs> and it's Saturday morning, 9.07. So yeah, I think the weatherman missed it again. We're off to go get the new valve cover gaskets. The one piece uh, oil pan gasket. I'm gonna convert that engine to a one piece, see if I like it. Place said they had it. Found it online for 25 bucks. They got it for 27. Tw online. I gotta wait a few days. A couple dollars more, I can have it today. So yeah, I guess that's what I'll do there. Uh, and I hope everybody's got good plans for Mother's Day tomorrow. Hopefully, I got a little bit of money and I wanna take the wife somewhere on Mother's Day. Hopefully she will go, and we can have a nice Mother's Day and out. So, uh, yep, I guess I don't have anything in the wood shop to really worry about. Um, like I said, I got I got to get going on my house again. I got some house wrap. Oh yeah, that if I get close to somewhere, I might pick those up. I got those that cap nailer put some plastic caps on and uh, start getting the house wrap on the house and start putting some color and trying to get it dried in some more so uh, I got uh, plenty to do, <coughs> do but it's more of working for myself which you know that don't pay working for yourself <laughs> well working on your own projects kind of hard to get money out of your own pocket when you ain't got nothing to get <laughs> so yeah but I think uh, wow less than a week left for my daughter this time next weekend she'll be a free kid from school well, actually I think Thursday she's a free kid from school she don't have to go to school Friday but uh, a week from today this her graduation party and then she'll be ready to uh, move out on her own now she's back to talking and moving out so I don't know For somebody that didn't save any money or nothing I really don't know how the heck she's planning on moving out on her own but I guess maybe Maybe she'll land the right job right away. I don't know, but anyhow, I'm gonna snack on a little breakfast. We're gonna go get the stuff for the motor, and uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do today. Is just kind of work on the motor, get her where it's all sealed up again, and that's why we got the pan off. We'll look up in the motor, look how everything's washing, wearing, or I mean see any signs of any obviously tr obvious troubles and we'll get her together run it some more make sure no more oil leaks show up and once the oil leaks stop showing up uh well that's the other thing i gotta put the ignition switch in and throw the tranny into the back of the truck and away to town we go and uh clean her up and start bolting stuff together so maybe in a couple days 
I'll be tearing up the Carroll Roads. <laughs> so, all right. Well, we'll talk to you here in a few when I get back to. If I find something interesting down the road, I'll bring you back. But otherwise, when we get back to the shop, we'll get the order. So, all right. Some pretty looking clouds. I mean, there's some swirls and all sorts of things going on. Kind of cool. Funny thing is, 20 minutes ago, we were in sunshine. It does that. It comes in, rains, then clears, then rains, and then clears. So, I don't know if the camera's doing any justice or not, but... A lot of swirling. A lot of painting going on in the sky today. Well, guys, wait till you see what we got. We got some work today. <laughs> so, all right. Okay, well, here's what we've all gotten through today. Here is my, come on. There is my new uh, ignition switch from 1A Auto. And just to prove to you guys, they replaced it for free. So, that, got some blue silicone, which now I don't need because the oil filter, got it. that for the motor, uh, this new pan gasket comes with uh, new washers, new bolts, Fancy little uh, gizmos that you put in the corner to hold your oil pan and that up. Uh, seal. So simple. Got uh, some good. Uh, let me turn that damn thing down. Turned it up the other day when we were getting weather. And Okay. Sorry about that. And uh, bought the good Felpro four bolt valve covers. And uh, they're uh, rubber. So they said maybe just a little silicone just to hold the center of it while you. Uh, Clamp it down, so I got that. And then, got this chunk of quarter inch plate steel. Reason being is, I think I goofed. No, I don't, one. Okay, nope, I'll be okay. Uh, oh yeah, and we got wheels for the engine stand. I just could not bring myself to spend a hundred and some dollars. Well, hundred and fifty bucks, I think it was going to be. That time set, uh, done, taxes and all. Oh, whoops. I'm going to get that, got that for my wife to try, see if that helps her feet. And, uh, I got the Wheels. I got two swivels, two six, four inch, five hundred pounders. So those other wheels, yeah, they would have been nice, but overkill for what I got to do. So um, set this over here. Plus, I've got that steel to make my ramps for my little trailer. As I want to get this engine stand uh, where it's mobile so uh, also with Mother's Day tomorrow I got some work to do the wife's car quick before she takes mother-in-law to the doctor Monday so yeah I got plenty of projects for today and it's already 1130 uh, 
So, all right, well, I guess I'll get my plates cut and under here, under the engine stand and let's see, right there, weld them on. After I drill the holes for the wheels and that, then I'll get them on and center them, then I'll weld them and then get the jack under it, and bolt the wheels on and then we'll be able to roll this thing around. Plus that'll give me another Oh, four and a half, five inches clearance under there, so. All right, well, I better get to work. So. Well, I can still jig up stuff. Uh, I mean, the holes line up. Same way on those. I just use drill press and that little corner jig I made. Now I got I vacuum, vacuumed up the floor. So... Now I can uh, lift up one end, center those plates where I want them, and then weld them on. Then I'll jack it up, bolt those on, and then uh, I got two that are fixed, and uh, two that swivel. A little small, they're only four inches, but uh, it's going to add four inch wheels, but it's adding five inches to the height of that which means it should give me like 15 inches between the bottom of the bar there to the floor right, when I'm said and done so uh, I, I, these were like 15 let's see there they are and the uh, said they're rated for 500 pounds See, what's this? And the chances of me rolling this outside. Now here's the swivel. Chances of me rolling this around outside, very slim to none. Now if it does roll around outside, it more than likely won't have the motor on it. But you can see she's having her little attitude. Now the big pile. Right there, that was from adjusting the valves. The other three, that's from our leaks. So, like I said, the engine sand's doing what it's supposed to have done. Keep me from pulling that motor in and out a half a dozen times or fighting with it or having to work under the car, so. Oh, well, I'll get set up, get these welded on there. And, uh, yeah. Then I'm going to put the swivels here on this end with the radiator because that will be the end that you can steer with. Well, actually, you can steer with either end, but the way it's going to work out, it looks like it's going to work out, it's going to steer with this end better, so. Which is okay, which is okay. But, uh, yeah, I think like another guy said last night on the video I watched, he says, yeah, he believed in the four-piece of ga oil pan gaskets. After you put that one piece in, he says, I don't think I'll ever touch a four piece. I guess I'd rather spend the extra four or one piece. Well, I'm kind of talking a little early, but everybody says that should cure it and no more problems. So I like it, like the fact that it come, came with new bolts. That's always good. So I'll follow the, we'll read the instructions, follow them exactly to a T, and that's what we'll do. Oy. The other day my tum tum didn't feel good and last couple days it felt pretty good and today I'm just like Ugh. I think it's nerves. I really do. Because I realize how much I got how many projects I got to do for myself that I've spent money on metal that I gotta get done and uh, I, I'm I'm just I guess I'm stressing out over nothing. And why? I don't know. So Listen, right now, the only one I've got to answer to is me and my wife. Or my wife and I. Because uh, I don't have anything going in for anybody else. So Just get this car running and drivable and see what kind of fun we can have. So that's the other thing. Now i got to get the, well, I want to get that motor to where it rolls because I've got an oil change coming in. 
I got my wife's AC to work on. And then get that Camaro up in here. As I am going to drop the gas tank. I'll probably replace the fuel lines back there. Drop the gas tank. Look inside it. Make sure it ain't all gummy or varnished up or, or full of dirt like my buddy that had my car. He's been knowing to do shit like that. So uh, just make sure my gas tank's clean and put her all back together and go through the brakes. Inspect the brake lines while I'm underneath there. And uh, once we know the brake lines are good, the gas line's good, um, we'll drop this down in there and start hooking her up. Alright, well, let's get some welding done. Alright, we got the mounts welded on. They don't look the prettiest because that's too far down for this fat boy. Holy moly. Blow my waist, that hurts. All right. I'm breathing so bad, I had to take my glasses off, and boy, I look. I'm getting so used to having my glasses on now, I look weird without my glasses. I want to catch my breath, and we'll get these wheels bolted on so we can roll this sucker around here. So, all right. Oh, there you guys go. Look at here. Oh, that rolls so easy. <laughs> cool. I like that working height a little more yet. All right. Heck, I should be able to sit right here in my chair and change this oil pan gasket. Woof. There you go. They're all welded on, bolted on, and all steel wheels. So, like everything else with steel wheels in here, rolls pretty good. So, holy moly! Now I can roll it out of the way. Pretty much. Or when I start it up again and run it, I can push it right to the edge of the concrete there, and the exhaust will be outside for sure. The first day I ran it, it was. Then I slid it in to get it out of the way, and hey, yay, yay. But, uh, oh, yes, I am liking this. I am liking it, liking it, liking it. But this bending over doing the work, whoo, that gets to me pretty fast. So, okay, bought some of the day and put it to work today. Oh, excuse me. I guess I'll go get a, a bottle of water here in the fridge and, uh, yeah, and then decide what I'm going to do next. This weather can't make up its mind if it wants to be sunny, cloudy, rainy, stormy, hailing. At least there ain't no one, none of that <laughs> fluffy stuff coming down. I'll say that. I'm not going to jinx it. So, all right, well, that worked out pretty good. I guess now I'll have to take a grinder to these uh, feet things and nip the corners off on the outside. That way I don't run my foot into it. Leave it up to me to do that. But, uh, yeah. We're looking good. Looking good. <laughs> All right. Well, it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm turning to the truck to get into the steering ignition again. So, so find me some sockets and I'll work on this dang thing. Get her going. I miss my truck. I do like driving this thing. So. All right. Let's get get her done. This is what we're replacing again. So, for some reason, something didn't stay working. All right. I don't know what it is what, what it is with these storms, but uh, my wife just dodged that one. That was 60, 70 mile per hour wind with hail. 
and now over there in Calhoun County, which is the east of us, right there, and they're getting it now. So, well, I'm done. Oh, whoa! Turn around, look behind you, buddy. Sorry for the wind noise, but uh, look what's behind us. Uh, yeah. Wonder where that. <laughs> They said there was a chance of severe storms today. Um, we got one front thing. Ooh, look at that build up. That's just built up since I come out here and videotaped, I think. They're getting it over there. Looks like we might get it yet, too. I don't know. These look like they're moving northeast. Huh. Well, I guess. It's the weather. Can't do a damn thing about it. It's going to do what she wants to. All right. Okay, I'm going to go through them again. Okay. Current MD. Okay. O2 sensor. Shift solenoid A electrical. B electrical PWM solenoid circuit shift four five low voltage um, fault conditions auto journey ratio control motor B one circuit malfunction um, I recorded these because hopefully I want to erase it and uh, we're going to um, take her out and drive and hope to pray that it was that freaking ignition switch. So I wanted to shut off. Okay. Well, I'm going to pull this thing out. And we're going to take it for a drive quick. So, and see if everything behaves. If not, uh, I don't know what the hell to think. So, okay. Yeah, pull the truck to the head to get it out. Boy, she's getting black. Dark colored. Oh, what is going to blow up here? So far, it's all shifting better. I showed you off to the west, didn't even think of that. The oldest had a band contest today. And guess what? They had to stop because of hail. So the school vehicle got hailed on. Luckily it wasn't theirs. Well, I was looking at my buddy's uh, mower here. And I found the problem. This pulley is supposed to be right there under that fan, right? There on that stud. Uh, belt's not shot. Belt's not hurt. But um, yeah, pulley blew up. So now I got to try and find one like this. Show, and the guy has no manual or nothing, and then it's a old white. So. This Monday I go looking for a belt for or pulley for this and this will be fixed. That was simple. 
And old John Deere got the mower deck on that and got him on. But I want to take my Tahoe, uh, my pickup home, but I got, got stuff in my Tahoe I really don't want to leave sitting outside, so I guess I might try and finagle and get mowers all shoved in here and out of the way and have me just enough room to bring the Tahoe in. I'll park it in here, so there's the phone, so all right. Well, we'll see if the uh, phone takes off again. I think it looks kind of cool sitting over there. I like, I kind of like those wheels on there. I mean, they're not huge, but they're not small. And they work good on this floor, even being cracked. I mean, no problem. I'm That thing was, was really easy to push around. So, yeah. But, uh, well, I uh, guess. I got some stuff to put away and get stuff crammed into this building and uh, we'll call it good. So, I yeah, I got really, yeah, I'm going to. I got to quit doing this, make a mess of the bench, leave stuff out and then wonder why I got to take so long to get going when I get out here because everything's strewn on over so but anyway i guess that'll probably do it for this weekend because i doubt well tomorrow sometime i'm going to be in here fixing the wife's ac i am going to do that see if i can i use that i use that brazing rod for aluminum that you can find that fairs and that and that stuff worked i just had one little litty bitty 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 hole i missed Maybe that's what I'll do to make sure I ha ha. That's what I'll do. To make sure I got it sealed this time, I'll have a bucket of water and I'll cap off the one end and put a little air to it. And if it bubbles, and then I know where to fix it. And if it don't bubble, then I know it's sealed. Put about 40 pounds of pressure to it. and Now, well, we'll go through that if I videotape it. But otherwise, well, everybody, have a wonderful Mother's Day weekend if this is when you watch it. If not, I hope you had a good Mother's Day weekend. So, well guys, I'm going to shut up, get it, give up, and uh, I'm going to go home get cleaned up and maybe do something tonight yet. I don't know. So, take her easy. Thanks for watching. And uh, Hey, uh, please, when you watch the video, if you would, Please like or rate it and help me out here. I mean, the more likes and the, all that, that that's going to help out there too. So, and uh, if you don't like it, I guess don't like it, don't dislike it, or whatever. I, I just just trying to get some extra drummed up here, you know. So later.